What should you expect to experience when you enter the astral realm? Well, it depends. You could have two completely different experiences back to back. Each time you enter the astral realm, it's a unique experience. Usually beginners will just astral project around their physical body. So you may end up in your bedroom, your living room, somewhere within your house. And it's gonna look exactly like your house. Maybe a little bit darker and a little bit more difficult to see because you're in the astral realm and it's slightly different, but it'll still look like your home and you could still see the people within your home. But you may also project and end up somewhere else on the planet. You may end up at a relative's house on the other side of the country or at a friend's house down the street. Usually the more you astral project, the more complicated the experiences will become. You may end up in the astral plane where it feels like you're in a dream. Anything you think of magically appears. And things may look bizarre and crazy because it has a dreamlike element to it. But you're just in the astral realm. And then there's also the lower and upper astral planes. When you end up in the lower astral, it's like a nightmare. It's a hellish experience. You may see dark shadow people that may try to attack you. Demon-like creatures. It's a nightmarish place. You will know if you end up in the lower astral realm. The upper astral realm is a more positive experience. You can see spirit guides, angels, loved ones who have passed away. You're going to have a more positive experience. And like I said earlier, whenever you think of something, it'll magically appear. If you want to be on a Caribbean beach, relaxing, having a drink, you will suddenly be there doing just that. You are in complete control when you're in the astral realm. Some other things that you may experience you could end up going through a portal. And when you go through a portal, you will know it because you could physically feel it. You'll be going through a tunnel very fast and you'll end up somewhere else. You could end up on another planet, in another dimension, in a, pa in a past life, in a future life. Things could get really crazy and wild in the astral realm. Sometimes it's difficult to really differentiate between the dimensions and your place and time. Because you can literally travel anywhere in space and time. So you have to be paying really close attention to your surrounding. There's all sorts of different dimensions and you could travel to most of them. And like I mentioned, you could check out one of your past lives or your future lives. There's so many possibilities of what you can experience in the astral realm. It's kind of hard to say for certain what you should expect when you enter the astral. If you have a certain intention, that absolutely helps. You want to set an intention. If you want to experience a past life, set that intention. If you want to visit another planet in a different solar system, then set that intention. So you get the idea. But usually, in general, beginners will end up somewhere around their physical body within their home, and the more you astral travel, the more you'll be able to do and experience. This was certainly my experience and I've heard so many other people describe the same exact things. If you would like to learn specific methods for astral projection, then follow me right now at Astral K. I have a lot of videos you could go watch right now, a lot of tips and tricks for astral projection, how to navigate the astral realm, and so much more. So follow me at Astral K.